Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I'm going to try as hard as I can to fight through this apathy known as whatever the hell it's called after you have COVID and you don't want to fucking do anything. Whatever that is, I'm fighting through that right now. But I'm fighting through it because there's something super, super cool and amazing that I want to share with you. And that is... Bookworms. This is um, Regina's new zine that she put together. And um, she'd been working on this for a while. And she's put so much love into this fucking thing, dude. Um... But I, I just, I love it too because it's got like the, the stamp on it because like the back covers, the envelope kind of thing. I love that. I've always been just a little too, um, wuss about that and I, I would love to do that. So I think, um, for, uh, the bloodshed review, I'm going to do that. It's just, it's brilliant. It, it's just, it's so cool. So there's a little bit of an editorial note. There's um, life-saving advice. The artwork is throughout, which is great. The font is an awesome old type. So that's just right up my fucking shit, dude. But yeah, so there's a couple of, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? There's some articles. There's some fiction um, there's a comic in here, there's a crossword in here, there's a little maze, and again, it's filled with artwork. This is the, if you remember me talking about this a while back, like, well, this first thing here is, um, Where's the Horror? From Andrew Lyall, I think is how you say that. Um, then I have an article in here, um, and I can't remember what I originally called it, and Regina's like... Matt Wall remembers an American perspective. And that's actually a much more thought out um, title than I had. But it's the article about when I was a kid going to the grocery store and seeing all the um, horror paperbacks just at the grocery store. And that's like not even a thing anymore. So it's about that. Um, and then I go on tangents like most things. And then there's some book reviews in here. I think Regina wrote the review of Gothic by Philip Fricazzi. And then there's fiction in here from Sam Clausen, Angelique Fons, and more artwork. And then the like maze and the crossword. Crosswords are awesome. If you remember like Weird Mask, I had the um, crossword puzzle in a bunch of the issues. That was like one of my favorite things to do when I was putting that together. Lena Ng has a story in here. Bruce Golden. And then Ask Dr. J. So, um, are Bigfoot and the Jersey Devil related? That's the question that gets answered in here. It's just so cool. And like, What's great about this is that it has so many, like, old school elements to it. But at the same time, it's like, hey, you could either cut this part out if you want a subscription, or you could just scan this QR code, you know, because that's a thing. Oh, it's so cool. And then I guess Dr. J is um, from the Real Demons of Pop Culture podcast. But yeah, it's just, it's a really well put together um, zine. It's just a lot of fun. I love it. So I'm stoked that I was a part of it. And um, I'll have links um, down below where you can pick up a copy of it. From what she said, it like started off selling really, really well. Um, so that's really cool. And I love seeing like new zines happening and shit like that. So again, if you have a zine and you want... To me to talk about it let me know like hit me up send me an email let me know what your thing's about and if there's any help I can give you like for real I don't know if I'm allowed to say this eh fuck it 
I think it's it's a good thing to say. But it might just be from people of like our generation. But I was talking to Regina about um, the bookworms coming out. And she said how good it felt to publish something that wasn't on Amazon. And she wasn't saying that to be disparaging to Amazon or to talk down to the stuff that she's put up on Amazon. But it's just like, for the longest time, like, people published any way they could. And they did as much as they could to just, like, have a glimmer of someone looking in their general direction. Okay? And ever since, like, 2012, like, people publishing a book, it's like, oh, I gotta upload this file, and then I gotta hit publish and 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 that's the end of your putting a book out like yes you have to do marketing and all that other stuff but when you like are actually putting something together and then you write people's names and addresses on something and you have to go down to the post it's it's so fucking stupid to sound like this but it's it's real it's the feeling you get from doing that is so much like bigger and if you're just writing for yourself because i hear a lot of people say this i'm not in for this i'm not in this to make money i'm doing this for myself okay if you are doing it for yourself go the extra mile and like make something and sell that the the sense of fulfillment you get from that is so fucking huge like i i can't underscore that enough like seriously um, but yeah, so bookworms, it's out now. Go get it. I'm doing something really cool for issue two. Um, and I will be doing that next week and you will probably be hearing a little bit about that because I'm sure what I'm doing there will be, um, kind of filtering down through here. So, um, I'll leave a link to Regina's channel down below and, um, the link where you can pick up a copy and, um, if you get it, let Regina know and tell her how fucking awesome it is. Cause it's a fucking really well put together fucking book. All right. So with that said, everybody type hard, print hard, do your stuff guys and, um, pick up bookworms and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.